Starlight? Oh man. <laughs> We're done. Sucks. Welcome to the Pursuit of Coconuts. In this episode, we are continuing the installation of Starlink. I apologize for those who've asked the follow-up on this. We've been super busy, but we do need to get this internet connected to the farm now. So today we are gonna make sure that the Starlink works at home before we head to the farm. Here's a few tips, three tips that you should do before you install. One, make sure you have Wi-Fi or internet connection because the app requires it. Two, make sure you know where your serial numbers are. It actually can connect really well to this, so it's just in case. Three, make sure you have a payment method set up in the area that you want. Now, a few things that I learned from the followers and the responses and people who've watched the previous video, if you haven't seen that yet, please click on the link, also hit subscribe, is that the Starlink setup has residential, roaming, and a couple of other options, but we need to be on the roaming setting. Because when we did residential on an open farm area, it didn't have an exact address. And from what I was told and what people have responded to, there's a little geofencing or a little area that it kind of, when you put address, it designates. And I was trying to put residential, I was being cheap, maybe, um, or I just thought that we can just set it at the farm and just leave it at the farm. But you pay a little bit more for roaming, and then so you set it up at home, and then you're able to take this and bring it over there once the account is set up, and then it'll find the satellite. So we're gonna try that today. I haven't done it yet. We're gonna do it now to see if it works. Thank you for all the responses and also all the advice, and we'll see if we can make this bad boy go. So first thing is to get on your Starlink app. And that is that right there. Now, I think this is a good sign because before I didn't have this where it says Philippine hardware price reduction and they have it for sale and it's almost $200 less. I bought this in the States and brought it here not knowing that it was gonna be on sale, but now it's on sale. So if you're in the Philippines, just order it directly from here. Don't bring it from somebody else or somewhere else. Um, and then what we're gonna do is put start setup. And then allow Starlink to use your location. I'm gonna put allow. And then it shows pictures of which satellite we have. And we have this one right here. And we put confirm. Find an installa installation location. We're just gonna put next because I just want this to get all hooked up. We'll carry that outside. Okay, Wi-Fi setting, join the network. It may take about 30 seconds. Open settings. Wi-Fi. Okay, now we can connect this. So we're gonna plug this in to find our Wi-Fi settings. And so this is the router and this is the power source to that router. And then also this is the satellite wire here that we've got to connect. So we're gonna connect this first. So this little bad boy is like a almost like a, a, a flat USB or a miniature USB mini, USB mini. And then we got the power source here. So this gets plugged in. We're gonna let this kick in for about 30 seconds and turn on. So there's a little white light, my Sherpa pointed out, that turns on right here between the two cords. When you know that is plugged, that means power is getting to it. Everything's nice and snug in there. And now it's time to join Wi-Fi. Okay, I found it. It's there on the Wi-Fi. And now we're gonna bring this out and set it up in the middle of the road. But first, let's see. Okay, Starlink is connected, paired successfully, tap to continue. I'm gonna tap. I know this needs to go outside and be pointed in this right direction. Okay, your Starlink just powered on. Network performance should be stabilized after about 15 minutes. And yes, I know that I should have probably set this up with the open area first. I'm doing it a little backwards just because we had the problem with just connecting with this before. Um, but we're gonna put this outside. It'll, it's still booting. And you can kind of see we still, we're in 
Bohol, which is provincial. We have a forest right across the street. All right, let's scan the entire sky. Point your camera up. Okay. All right, it's scanning the entire sky. So it looks like the satellite has to be pointed this way. So let's move this. There. View results. It's gonna be hard to see. I'm recording this, so you'll we'll post this up. Let's make take a moment. Okay. It says that we might be obstructed, so we might have to try a new location. Yes, I know it's best to mount it on a pole or find a clear area and get it way above the canopy or any coverage. Our first step is just to create the account and see if we can even just get it going before we even get it pointed in the right direction. So I'm just following the steps, but thank you for all the information and all the advice people have already given. So I appreciate it. Please activate or resume service. All right, let's activate our account now. Activate Starlink. Let's do this. It takes me to the website and that's why you need Wi-Fi. I'm going to go back inside, set this up. Okay, so let's go new account. This is where it's going to make the difference. You have residential, business, roam, mobility, and maritime. From what I understand, you can uh, do residential, business, or roam. I'm going to choose roam, but I'm going to have to enter my address. So, Okay, here in town, we don't have specific address numbers for our house so we just put in our local address area and then it pulls up all right now i chose the closest address to here which is right down the street so rome is where i'm going to choose and then continue before continue please disconnect from the starlink wi-fi after purchasing sir you can connect so okay so i got to get off of the Wi-Fi of the Starlink, continue to check out. All right, this is where I had the problem last time. Okay, so I'm gonna sign in or create an account. The Wi-Fi is fast, but the website is slow. Do, 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 do. This is definitely moving a lot smoother than it did last time. So I have high hopes that we can get this going and uh, we'll see here. Again, enter the address. All right, it gave me a price finally, and for roaming is three thousand three hundred a month. Okay, so zero. It says three thousand three hundred a month for service. That's about sixty-five dollars a month, and zero pesos for hardware because I have my serial number put into there. I'm going to do Apple Pay because it's all linked. Something went wrong on our end. Okay, again, let's try this again. Do, 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 do. Double click to pay. Payment failed. That's with Apple Pay. Okay, I added a different credit card. Let's try it again. Maybe it's the shipping address because my credit card's in the US. Use alternative pay. Let's see. I'm going to try a different alternative pay and put my credit card directly in. This is what I was running into last time. Place order. Something went wrong on our end. Please wait and try again. It's happening again. All my cards are legit. It says it's on their end. Oh my goodness. I think it's because I have an American pay style and I'm in this country. So I might have to figure something else out for a payment method. I mean, Apple Pay should have worked. That didn't work. Payment's not going through on their end. Oh man.
Um, everybody else seems to not have a problem. All right, I'm getting desperate. I'm gonna put mobile global to see if any of this stuff makes a difference. Now mobile global is freaking 12,200 pesos a month. What? That's more than a salary. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but I wanna see if it works. Do I do it? I don't know why this is not working. I've put my payment methods. They work fine everywhere else. And I wonder if it's because my credit cards are from the US, but I'm doing Apple Pay, which should go directly through. Okay, let's try it again. Payment failed. Something went wrong, RN, please wait and then try again. All right, second attempt failed. I did everything that everybody suggested. I put roaming, I put a local address, I'm not at the farm, I've got Wi Fi. I'm trying to set it up before I go out to the farm. I've got regional roaming and yet it still does not work. Okay, here's something that's really dumb is I bought this from the States and I brought it here thinking that the hardware is universal. I wonder if because I brought this one from the States that it's identifying the US and it's not being activated, even though this is brand new, never been activated before. It says that we should be able to be the first activator and it'll be activated in the country of use for the first time, then it can't be transferred for the type of service, but still not activating, still not working. Everybody else on the internet around here has gotten their Starlink and has used it and it said it's fine. I wonder if they purchase it through Starlink and it gets received here and then they are able to use it. So question is, can I buy a Starlink from other countries and travel with it to other countries and activate it, even though it's never been activated and they're brand new? Let me know your thoughts. Starlink fail. Second time. So frustrating. If I have to get another satellite, it's going to be hard to return this one to the U.S. This is dumb. Starlink, I thought you guys were a tech company, but you are proving to make it very difficult. Oh my God, again? Okay, so factory reset is unplug and plug this six times. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, Starlink, I do not want to buy another satellite. And I bought this one before you guys really started shipping to the Philippines heavy or is the same price. I'm very sad, Starlink. I'm gonna have to order another Starlink dish because we can't bring it from the US to here and that was never said before. They just said don't activate it. So big Starlink. <laughs> Starlink, boo. You gotta fix that or something because this is the exact same kit that can be ordered here, but and it should disclose that this shouldn't be traveled internationally. Very sucky. All right, I'm done. At first, I thought it was the Wi-Fi at the farm. Now, I thought it was the payment style because my credit cards and my payment info was from the US. And now, I find out from a third party, not even Starlink, but from Reddit, that we can't travel across the country with the satellite. So this is a big fail on Starlinks and I thought the hardware was universal. I thought if we bought it and it showed the area in which you can use it, you would be able to use it. It is available in the Philippines. I did not know that you had to buy it from the Philippines to use it in the Philippines. And now I'm out this satellite. I have to send it back and I have to get another one. So this is an epic fail. Follow us on the next episode when we finally get a satellite here in the Philippines, and I'm sure we'll make that one work. It better work. Thanks for following us. Click the like button. Please subscribe and uh, follow us on journey as we create the first aquaponic farm cooperative in the center of Asayas of the Philippines. Thanks again, guys. I'm so pissed.